Jesus. Jesus is the name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. I thank you, Jesus, for the pastor here. I thank you, Jesus, for his wife, for his dad, for the family. I thank you, Jesus. That we have a place of refuge to run to. Yes. Where we're accepted because we stand on the truth, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I just want to say that I stand behind this podium with fear and reverence towards God. This is not ego. This is not a place where you go to be famous. This is not a place where you go to enhance your reputation. This is a this is a, a place where God lifts you up. This is a place where you speak the word of God Amen. to the people of God Amen. so they might do the will of God Amen. and not stray from the path that God has given no. them. No, no, take it out. I was reading in the I was reading um all week well, in the take Bible. It out. Well, take it out. Um, to play it. I was reading in the Bible. And I was reading in the minor prophets and the major prophets. Yeah. And uh, and I came to the realization that that man gave these terms minor and major prophets. I just want to let you know that if God speaks to you, you are that's not a minor thing. Amen. Okay? When God spoke to Malachi, it, Malachi is not a minor prophet. Amen. Just because he wrote little doesn't mean that there's not an impact that you can get from it. Amen. I also, I also want to say that I am proud. I am a proud Marnakian, modalist, oneness, apostolic Pentecostal. Right? You see what man did? You see, what, see the label we have? I, I, sir, I love the heresy you were preaching, but it's not. The truth that we preach here <laughs> scares 90% of the people, 90% of the, of, of the congregations out there. At the modern church, you get 30 minutes of song and 30 minutes of preaching. We could go, we could go right now to six, seven o'clock at night and feel like we've never we've, we've been here 10 minutes. A man has has put everybody into these subcategories. And God wants to break all that down. Now, how do you break the walls down? You have to spend time in the word. You have to spend time in the word that God has given us. We cannot go based on our feelings. Okay? Listen, if we go based on our feelings, I I, I hope there's no hell. Amen. I hope that God's going to save everybody. Amen. But when you get alone with the word of God, when you get alone with the minor prophets and the major prophets, they start to, they start to harmonize with the same message. Right. The same message that John the Baptist was preaching and Jesus were preaching. A, a message of repentance and death and repentance and life yeah. and a choice you have to make yeah. with the God that is real and is watching over everybody. Yeah. It says right here, and now we call the proud happy, gay. They that work wickedness are set up and they that tempt God are even delivered. Amen. That is a major message yeah. in the modern world today that you can tempt God and be delivered, yeah. that you can work wickedness and live. And it's not the truth. They don't even believe that God can deliver you presently from this wicked generation. And that's the whole premise of the Bible. Is that you can be baptized in Jesus' name. You can give up all the weight that the world has on you and the devil has on you in a split second. And be delivered. And walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. Last night of the Holy Ghost is living a lifestyle where you don't believe that God can deliver you. It's over there. Because it's a painful thing to be delivered. Amen. Right? Preach. Because the bondage of the devil, it, the pleasures of this life feel so good yeah. that when you start to let them go and you start Mommy. to let God peel the layers I'm off, you that. feel like you're losing something. Meanwhile, you have no idea that you're gaining everything. That's right. That's right. That's right. When the Israelites were given a portion of their land, they were all given a portion based on based on their, their last name and where they're from. The Benjaminites, um, the, the tribe of Judah, they all got land. Right. But the priests right. didn't get land. Yeah. You know why? Because God was their portion. Yeah. And we are kings and priests to the most high God. Yeah. We have no we have no 
inheritance in the flesh, in the physical form, because we are gods. It's going to come a point when our bodies are going to be changed from this vile body into an everlasting, immortal, glorious body. And we, we are going to be property of God. And we are going to be his. And no eye has seen, nor ear has heard the things that God has prepared for you that love him. Which brings me to the moral of my story. Which brings me to the moral of my message. There are things going on in this world that don't make sense and we know it. And there are evils taking place that we can't even talk about. Okay? This is the great falling away. And if it's not, it's a type. If, if the mark of the beast is not here, there's a type. If the Antichrist is not walking among us, we got types. And we got serious types. Okay? We got five or six people that we can label the Antichrist because it's getting close. And, and what I want to say is, is that if the early Christians were here, they'd be, they'd be so ashamed of us. They really would. I believe with all my heart that if Paul would walk into any church, he'd be mortified. And he would have a strong rebuke for the leaders. And you know what they would do to him? They would walk him out the door with security. First off, they wouldn't even believe anything the man is saying. The guy who wrote this Bible, the, new, the majority of the New Testament through the power of God, would be rejected in the churches today. That's where we've come to. Because the minor prophet said here that they that tempt God are delivered. That's what they believe. And that is not the case. You must be born again. You must be born again. Didn't Jesus say that to Nicodemus? Yeah. Nicodemus was going to talk a, a whole conversation with something else, and Jesus cut him off. Hold up. Who got him born again? Yeah. How, how can I enter your mother's womb twice? Yeah. Nicodemus, uh -huh. I believe that you find Nicodemus later in the scriptures. Yeah. I do. Not by name. Yeah. You know, there are there were there were some Pharisees that came to Jesus and said, Hey, listen, they're going to do some bad things to you. To me, that could have been Nicodemus. And, what I, and that's what you get to be a Bible student. When you study the Bible, and you're in the Bible, you're going to see some things. And then you know that you're around people who don't read the Bible because they get freaked out by it. Like what? No, I'm serious. Like what? Like baptism in Jesus' name. When I read the book of Acts, it was a burning fire in my soul. I was like, how come? I, my wife was there. I was like, how come I'm not baptized in Jesus' name? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Everybody here is baptized in Jesus' name. That's the one that's going out to Jesus. 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 How come I'm not baptized in Jesus' name? Then I put two and two together. Because you got the harmonized scriptures. So I called every church in Miami and Broward. And everybody tried to talk me out of it. Everybody tried to talk me out of it. and said, I don't need it. It's the wrong thing. We don't teach that way. And the best I could get was, oh, we baptized the way that Jesus taught in the name of Jesus. So you got, you got four people. God, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. And that was the cut. So back to the early church. Listen, does everybody here believe in the last days, right? We are. I believe, I personally believe, say, this is just Joe. I believe in the last day. I believe things are over before. And it's coming to a point right now all around the world that you cannot buy or sell without a certain thing you have to get. Now I'm not saying, now I might have my opinion. I might have my opinion. I might have my vision from God and what God speaks to me. It doesn't matter. What matters is, is that there is a type here. Yes. Yes. Okay? Yes. It's common. I just don't believe that all are going to be able to see it. But evil's gonna wax worse and worse. So we're telling you there's something else. Coming. And the remnant has to start acting like the early church. Okay? What does that mean? Right now, right now, people are compromising. They know they know there's something wrong. They know their faith in God is telling them to do something else. But they can't make rent. 
So they make a choice. And then they justify and say, well, I have a daughter that I have to provide for. So I'm going to go along with what man says. I'm going to go along with the system because I can't, I have to provide. The Bible says if a man doesn't provide, he's worse than you. And what you're really saying is, is that God is not a provider for you. Yeah, 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 right? Because the early church members were burned at the stake and didn't even scream. They were beyond persecuted. If they were here right now, they would rock the world. And that's where we come in. This is what this church is about. Because in this little building, with this little amount of people, it's going to change the world. Because when the evil rises up and it gets worse and worse, yes. we're going to set up a standard against yes. the enemy. Yes. Okay? Yes. When they start saying, hey, pastor, yes. you got to close your church if you don't put an uh, implant in your brain. Or we're going to throw you in prison for life. Yes. And you go, it's going to rock somebody's life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. The early church were fed to the lions and didn't even run. Yeah. It said in church history that Paul, when he was about to get his head cut off, ran to the executioner and put his head there. Yeah. Now, that executioner has never seen anything like that. Because we have precious promises. Yes. everything in that Friendship with the world is hatred towards yes. God. Yes. Yes. Okay? Because if we really believe that, right. we put the cell phones down. We kick the TVs out of the house. Right. We stop going out buying designer. Yes. Okay? We take the money that we have and invest it in the church. Right. We need to boost the faith here. Right. We need to boost the faith. Right now, oh. you know, I'm still preaching and churches are ending their message because they're on time. Right. Yes. We need, we need unction from God to survive. To survive, to survive what's coming. And in order to survive, see the Bible verse it was inverse. In order to survive, you gotta die. In fact, in fact, if the Lord's here, we gotta die twice. We gotta be born again. We gotta have death till self. And then if the Lord's here, we gotta, we gotta die and go, and go to the grave. But we have hope that we're gonna be resurrected. I'm just trying to tell you, I want to encourage you that when you do see these new evils arise, when the news switches stories and something else is there, you need to have it in your mind. You're going to set up a standard. It's called a non-negotiable. That's right. That's right. Let me list off some non-negotiable for you. That's right. I'm not cheating on my wife. Woo! I'm not looking for another woman. That's okay? right. I'm not going to do alcohol like the rest of the world. That's, That's a right. non-negotiable. That's you right. You know what I'm doing? I'm going to preach the word in season and out of season. Yes. Okay? I'm not taking anything that my body might or may not get harmed from. That's right. Okay? I'm not taking an implant in my brain from Elon Musk. Or any other crazy science. That's right. All right. I'm not. I'm not gonna go from the from the physical to the digital age. That's right. And I've learned it from the Bible. The Bible says when the angels left their first estate, well, where do you think they came from and where they went? They went from the spirit to the physical and got banned. Now they're telling you you can upload your consciousness into the digital and live forever. I'm not living forever. The world can live forever. Okay. I'm going to go the way of the cross. Yeah. Woo! Gonna, it's not negotiable. We're picking up the cross and we're going to die for the cause. That's right. And we're going to rock the world. That's right. We're going to look in the eyes of our executioners with love. Yes. And they're going to get a bone yes. shaking rattle up their spine. Woo! And say, I've never seen this. Yes. Surely this man is the Son of God. Yes. But it's not me. Yes. It's the Son of God in me. Yes. Yes. To look at these fools yes. who worship the devil Woo. and say, I'm not with it. No. I'd rather die than live forever. That's right. Ha. I'd rather be homeless than yes. go around you on the road. Yes. I'd rather not buy and sell. Yes. And have God provide yes. birds for me. Yes. I need not go Yes. I'd rather be naked and in peril. I'd rather be beaten with whips. Yes. Yes. I'd rather be put in prison. Yes. Let it go wrong. Yes. And lose my soul. Woo! Now, for you have some non-negotiables. 
Yes. And if you don't, I advise you make a list. Yes. Because things are coming. Yes. yes. Your way. Yes. To a city near you. Yes. Because the enemy's got a little bit of power. Yes. And when you get power, you can never give it up. Yes. They gotta have more power. Yes. They got a kingdom Mom. of this earth. Our kingdom is not from this earth. No. If it was, aren't we kings and priests? Our servants would fight for us. Yes. Heirs of salvation. They fight for the heirs of salvation. Yes. The warfare is different. Yes. We have to read the Bible. We have to absorb what God is saying and put it into action. Forsake our sin. Yes. I'm telling you. Leave it alone. We got no business making friends with the world. No. We got to go forward. We got to go to the cross. Yes. We got a mission to fulfill. Yes. Because we got a life to live. Mom. 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 When the, when the stars start falling and yes. the sun goes out yes. and the world sees the sun of man coming into glory and power. Yes. And see a lightning from the east and the west. Yes. They're going to be freaking out. But no, yes. not, not us. us. We're going to know Woo! Jesus is coming. Yes. And in the twinkling of an eye. Yes. In the moment of the twinkling of an eye. We're going to be in the clouds. Yes. To meet him forever. Yes. But not us first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Yes. The dead in Christ shall rise first. The, the, the martyrs who, who, who left their family. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We need the Spirit of God right now. So I'm going to pray, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes, Jesus. That you would make room in our schedules and spend time in your word. Yes. And to pray. Yes. Yes. Yes, Jesus. There's seven million people on the in the world right now, and only a remnant are gonna make it. Do you want to be part of that remnant? Yes. Then you need to make up a list of non-negotiables. Yes. 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 Don't be afraid. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus.